sees his new pigsty. See you later, Humpty. Will all the pigs live in this house, Bob? No, Scoop. Humpty will have his own sty, and the mother and piglets will live next door. Why do they all live together? Ah, well, Dizzy, you see, the hog, that's Humpty, likes being on his own. Oh, doesn't he get lonely? <laughs> that's just the way pigs are, Dizzy. See you later. It's time for my lunch. Hmm. I'm feeling a little peckish too. I think I'll have a sandwich. <coughs> oh, so you're hungry too, are you, Scruffy? <coughs> no, I'd better get some more work done first, then stop for lunch. <coughs> there, that's the walls done. Oh, Bob, <coughs> have you seen my new cap anywhere? I put it down somewhere and it seems to have disappeared. Uh, no. Sorry, Farmer Pickles. Have you seen a cat, Scruffy? <coughs> oh, that's funny. My lunchbox seems to have vanished too. I tell you what, Bob. I'll bring you a bit of pie from the farmhouse. Thanks, Farmer Pickles. Come on, boy. <coughs> First die, but the pigs can't go in until it's all safely fenced off. I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, okay, Bob. You can leave your things here overnight. Now, what did I do with those? Have you lost something? I can't find my best pair of work gloves. Well, we have had a lot of things go missing today. You're right, Bob. We'd better put Scruffy on guard tonight. He can keep an eye on your things. Good idea. <laughs> Be a good guard dog, Scruffy. Watch out for anything unusual. <laughs> Night, Scruffy. <laughs> Scruffy, did you see anything? 
Oh, well, maybe Scrofty thought my hammer looked like a bone and buried it. Hi, Scrofty. Did you enjoy our game last night? So you were up here last night, Spud? Yeah, we were playing fetch with that funny stick thing you used, but I put it back. Oh, Spud, you mustn't play with Bob's tools. Did you see anyone else up here? No, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Maybe my hammer disappeared while you two were playing. It's a right old puzzle and no mistake. Come to the farm, Bob. I've got another hammer you can use. I'm sorry your things keep vanishing, Bob. Yes, Scruffy was very disappointed when my lunchbox went missing yesterday. Oh, why's that? Well, I think he wanted one of my sandwiches. Did he now? Bob, I was just thinking. Yes, Farmer Pickles. Well, I'm starting to wonder if my Scruffy could have anything to do with this. Hmm. Hello, Piggy Wiggies. It's Uncle Spot. Have you got any food you want to share with me? Nice, Piggy. Careful, Spud. I wouldn't go sticking your parsnip nose in there. Humpty likes to eat parsnips. Oi, Humpty. This nose is not for eating. I'm very attached to it. How's it going, Bob? Well, it's a bit slow without Wendy. I said I'd call her if I needed her, but I can't find my phone. Oh, don't tell me. It's disappeared too. I hope you didn't have anything to do with this, Scruffy. <coughs> Look, why don't I give you a hand, Bob? That'd be great, <coughs> Farmer Pickles. <laughs> expect to see you hard at work. Well, Bob needed a hand. Why didn't you call me, Bob? I can't find my phone, Wendy. It must be around here somewhere. Hmm. Well, why don't we use my phone to call yours? We might hear it ringing. And then we could follow the sound. <laughs> oh, follow that ring! <laughs> Well, well. Bob's mobile. My new cap and best gloves. <laughs> What's left of them? And Bob's lunchbox. And a hammer. A well-chewed hammer. Oh, Humpty. He must have been wandering off to find things to eat. Well, pigs will eat anything, Bob. But how did Humpty get out of his pen? <laughs> What have you found there, Scruffy? <laughs> well, I never. There's a big hole. Humpty must have been using it as his doorway in and out. <laughs> oh, clever Humpty. Oh, he's clever, all right. Nearly ate my nose, you know. So, now we know who's behind all those disappearing objects. <laughs> I'm sorry I thought it might be you, Scruffy. <laughs> Come on, let's get Humpty's new home finished. This'll be one he won't want to escape from. <laughs> now, let's show my pigs their new homes. Come on, Humpty. Come on. Nice, big, juicy cabbage. New fence ought to stop Humpty from having any more adventures. <laughs> now, I've got one last special treat here. Oh, sorry, this one's not for you, Humpty. It's for Scruffy. For being such a brave guard dog. <laughs>
Put in a new oven at Mr. Sabatini's pizza shop. Oh, lucky you. Mr. Sabatini makes the best pizzas in town. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Hello, Mr. Sabatini. Oh, Bob, it's so good to see you. Uh, um, good to see you too. Has your new pizza oven been delivered? Yeah, it's a here, Bob. It has a conveyor belt that carries the pizza through the oven. Oh, very clever, Mr. Sabatini. Right then, I'll get to work. And I'll make a pizza so we can try the oven out. Wow. Morning, everyone. Hey, Mr. Here are the plans for the cycle lane. As this is such a busy road, I think we're going to have to stop the traffic with these signs. I'll stand at one end of the road, and you can stand at the other. <laughs> but if I help you, Mr Bentley, who's going to build the cycle lane? Ah, a good point. Well made. I'll help you, Mr Bentley. Ah, uh, yes, thank you, Spud, but uh, you weren't quite what I had in mind. We can't have any messing around. Oh, I'll be really good. I, I promise, Wendy. Oh, very well, then. You're going to need this walkie-talkie, too. Oh, wow! A talkie-walkie! Hello, this is Spud speaking, and walking in a cycle! Right, Spud. It's your job to stand here and stop any vehicles that come along. Calling all crows! Calling all crows! Keep our farmer vehicles field! Uh -huh. You'll then call me on the walkie-talkie to see if the way is clear. Calling farmer vehicles! I will have a pie for my dinner! If it is, you turn your sign to green and let the traffic proceed. Did you understand all that, Spud? Uh, 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 yes! Yes, of course I did, Mr. Bentley. Good. Right, I'll go and stand at my end of the road, then. Uh, Mr. Bentley! Yes, Bob. I, I forgot to say... I call the car! That's it, Mr. Sabatini. Your oven's fitted. Oh, Bob! That's a fantastico! I forgot lots of orders for my pizza. Great! Well, let's try the oven and check that it's working properly. Mm. Looks a bit slow. Oh, it's all a bird. Don't worry, I just need to speed up the conveyor belt. That's it, Rock. You dig up the side of the road. Uh, shall I start fixing, Wendy? Hang on, Dizzy. I've got to add this green dye to the cement. There we go. Right, Dizzy. Start mixing. Why does this cycle line have to be green, Wendy? So cyclists know where it's safe to ride, Rolly. Right, we're going to need some white paint for the line marking machine. Lofty, can you go and pick some up? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so, Wendy. Falling farmer pickles, I'd like some ice cream with my apple pie. Hey, Lofty, come back, come back! Oh, right, from now on, nobody gets past Spud the traffic stopper! Try it now, Mr. Sabatini. I'll just answer that, Bob. It's a probably another order. Aha! Success! Oh, Bob! It's a disaster! Oh, 
I thought the pizza looked quite nice. The pizza is fabulous, Bob. That's not a disaster. My delivery driver has a call to say he's not a feeling well. How am I going to deliver my pizza? Don't worry, Mr. Sabatini. Scoops outside will deliver the pizzas for you. Magnifico, Bob. You have saved the day. Oh. Oh, it's no problem, Mr. Sabatini. I'll get right to work making the pizzas. I'll give you a hand, Mr. Sabatini. Oh, dear. I think you should stick to the pizza delivery, Bob. Stop right there, Travis. Hello, Spud. What are you doing? Mr. Bentley has given me a job stopping the traffic. Oh. But Farmer Pickles asked me to take these lettuces to the market. Sorry, Travis, I cannot let you go. It is more than my job is worth. Oh, um, uh, why have you stopped, Travis? Bud says we've got a weight lofty. Oh, uh, dear. Okay, the customers' names are written on the top of the boxes, Bob. Try to be quick, so the pieces are still hot. Okay, Mr. Sabatini, can we deliver them? Yes, we can. <laughs> Only one more to deliver, Scoop. A cheese and tomato thick crust pizza for Mr. Fothergill. We'd better hurry up and get it to him while it's still hot. No problem, Bob. Can we use the line marking machine now, Wendy? We will. As soon as Lofty gets back here with the paint, I wonder what's keeping him. Oh, no. Look, Bob, it's a traffic jam. I'd better go and see what the hold-up is. Hello, everyone. What's the problem? Oh, um... It's Spud. He's holding up the traffic. It's my new job. I'm a traffic stopper. Oh, Spud. You're supposed to use your walkie-talkie to call the person at the other end. If the way is clear, then you let the traffic through. Oh, so that's what Mr. Bentley was going on about. Mr. Bentley! Mr. Bentley! Start calling Mr. Bentley on the walkie-talkie, Mr. Bentley! Is the world clear? Oh. Yes, it is, Spud. There hasn't been any traffic on board. <laughs> okay, you can all go now. At last. Oh, that pizza smells scrummy, Bob. Can I have a slice? Sorry, Spud. This is for Mr. Fothergill. Oh, but being a traffic stopper is hungry work. I wish this was a big lollipop. Sorry, can't stop. We've got a pizza to deliver. Mmm, oh, it smells delicious. Pizza, Mr. Fothergill. Oh, excuse me. No, it's it's not for me, Bob. I'm allergic to pizzas. No, it's for my parrot, Hamish. <laughs> he loves them. Ah, pizza! Pizza! I hope it's still hot. I got here as fast as I could. Oh, don't worry, Bob. Excuse me. Hamish likes his pizza. It's cold. <laughs> oh, dear. Hamish the pizza parrot. Pizza parrot. Ah, pizza parrot. Mr. Sabatini, it's Bob. Scoop and I have delivered all the pizzas. Bellissimo, Bob! Come back to the shop and I will give you as much a pizza as you can eat. That would be great. <laughs> um, I don't suppose you've got any apples or turnips or jam? The cycle lane's all finished, Wendy. It looks great, Mug. All we need now is a bicycle to test it out. Oh, oh. I think I can help you there, Wendy. One foot scooter complete. Very practical, Mr. Bentley. Oh, yes, Wendy. See you soon, everybody. Bye, Mr. Bentley. I'm glad you're finished, Wendy, because I've brought lunch. Oh, lovely, Bob. A pineapple and sweet corn pizza for Wendy, a mushroom and onion deep pan for me, and one for Spud, too. It's got apple, turnip, and jam on it. Oh, yes, the Spud special. My favourite. Thanks, Bob.
and Bowley too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Fun and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Built to the murder, Travis and Spud. Playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Right, Scoop. I need you and Rolly to keep them out of the yard while we're gone. No problem. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> to put some new tiles on the roof of an old cottage. Oh, what tiles, Bob? We're picking them up from JJ's yard on the way, Lofty. Oh, uh, I like tiling roofs. Are you ready to go, Bob? Yes. I hope it doesn't rain. We've got to finish that roof by today. I'll come and give you a hand just as soon as I've finished here. Thanks, Wendy. Right. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. JJ, have you got some tiles? Have I got tiles? I should say so. Oh, good. Let's see now. There's Welsh slate, Spanish slate, double Roman, mini stone wall. Um, have you got red ones, like these? Oh, very nice. It'll look lovely when it's finished. Yes, but we have to finish it today. Today? Ah, bit of a problem. I've only got one lot of the red tiles, you see. Oh, no! But there's a delivery later on, so uh, I'll take the ones you've got. Could you deliver the rest of the site later? I was just going to suggest that, Bob. Load them up, tricks. Okie dokie. As soon as they come in, I'll get Molly to drop them over. I can take them. No, tricks. I need you here. We're right in the middle of sorting the stock, Bob. We got a lot of building materials, as you can see. We got. All well done. Thanks, tricks. We'll be off then, JJ. Oh, right you are, Bob. See ya. Bye. Bye. Come on, tricks. Let's get cracking. Check. Sorry, Mr. Bentley. We'd have been here sooner, but we had to collect the tiles. Are you sure you've got enough, Bob? Molly's going to bring some more later. I'll, uh, well, I'll leave you to it then. Thanks, Mr. Bentley. OK, Lofty. Pass the tiles up now. Oh, uh, oh that's it, Lofty. Easy does it. It's OK. Don't worry, Lofty. Just put the others down on the... That's it. Well done. Oh, sorry, Bob. It's all right, Lofty. It was an accident. We'll have plenty of tiles when Molly turns up. Wow! Great job, Bob. Yes, it's going a lot faster than I thought. I'll soon run out of tiles at this rate. Uh, you better um, ring JJ, Bob. Good idea, Lofty. Except I can't. I've forgotten my phone. Oh, no! Well, the new tiles are here, but there's no sign of Molly. We'd better get them into the yard, tricks. Okie dokie. I'll just ring Bob and tell him they've arrived. I can take these tiles to Bob, no problem. It'll only take me five minutes. I will. I'll take them to him. I'll be back before JJ knows I'm gone. <laughs> One of you will have to go back to JJ's yard. Hello, Bob. Oh, thanks, Lofty. Now, you know what you've got to ask JJ? Yes. No. Well, tell him that we've run out of tiles and we need the new ones now. Got that? New ones now. Yes. Off you go, then. New ones now. New ones now. New ones Good luck, Lofty. He'll be fine. Huh? Oh, new... Uh, yes. Right. Soon get this sorted out. Oh, where is that coming from? <laughs> Bob's mobile. <laughs> Hello? Bob? No, it's Wendy. Are you sure? Of course I am. Is that JJ? Yes, I've got a message for Bob. Well, I'll see him soon, so I can give it to him if you like. Tell him that the new tiles are here, but I haven't got anyone to deliver them. Oh, dear. Well, we need to finish that job today. I'll give Bob the message. Thanks, Wendy. Bye. Oh, I'd better get going, then. I'll be there and back in no time. Tell JJ about the new ones. No, Bob's 
tell Bob about JJ. a lot. I've run out of tiles. What are we going to do, Bob? Well, my tummy says it's lunchtime, so let's go to the park. Yippee! The park! By the time we get back, the tiles should be here. Good idea, Bob. Oh, Bob's not here. What are we going to do now? Oh, hello, Trix. Hi, Wendy. Here's the tiles Bob wanted. Oh, good. Thank you, Trix. At least we can get on with the job until Bob gets back. OK, Wendy. Here goes. You are a useful machine, Trix. I know. Trix, where are you? This is no time to play hide and seek. We're far too busy. Oh, hello, Lofty. Oh, um, hello, Mr. JJ. Bob asked me to ask you about there and back. What? Oh, um, no, that wasn't it. Yeah. You haven't seen Trix, have you? Oh, yes. She was going along the road with, um, some tiles. Tiles? She must be taking them to Bob, and without telling me where she was going. Oh, oh, um, that's it. Bob needs more tiles. But the red tiles are still here. Uh, oh, no. Trix must have taken him the green ones. You're great at tiling, Wendy. Thanks, Scoop. We'll easily have this job finished on time. Oh, no! Hello, Bob. What's the matter? Those are the wrong tiles. What do you mean, Bob? Look! I did the other half of the roof in red. Oh, dear. Where did you get the green ones? Trix brought them. Oh, crumbs. Sorry, Wendy. I was trying to help JJ. We know you were, Trix. Well... <laughs> I'd better phone him and explain what's happened. You'll be needing this, then. Oh, Wendy, what would I do without you? <laughs> I can't imagine, Bob. I really can't. Right, Lofty. Let's get these tiles to Bob. Oh, OK, Mr. JJ. There's nobody there. Oh, dear. We'll never get finished on time now. What are we going to do? Well... I know one thing we can do. What's that? We can take the green tiles off for a start. Come on. There. Oh, God. Yes. But what's Mr. Bentley going to say? He's coming. He's coming. Oh, no. Who's coming, is he? Lovely. And he's got the red tiles. Yeah. Good old Lofty. He's a hero. Yeah, right. Hi, Bob. Wendy, thought you might be needing these. We certainly do. Thanks, JJ. Lift them straight up here, Lofty. Uh, oh, OK, Wendy. I can help you, Lofty. Oh, no, you don't, Trix. I need you back at the yard. There are plenty of tiles to move about there, and they need counting, too. Oh, no. <laughs> that will teach you not to go rushing off without telling me. See you later, Bob. Thanks, JJ. Right, team. Let's get on with this roof. There, all finished. Just in time, too. Here's Mr. Bentley. Hello, Mr. Bentley. Hi, oh, Mr. Bentley. Bentley. Oh, hello, Mr. Bentley. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, thank you, Mr. Bentley. To be honest, Bob, I was a bit worried about you finishing on time. So were we. It was teamwork that did it. I say, these green tiles look rather splendid. Uh, I wonder what they'd look like on the roof. Well, hmm. Bob could always change them. Change them? But Wendy, <laughs> I've only just... <laughs> Don't worry. I'm only joking, Bob.
Foley too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder. Playing together like good friends should Bob the Builder Can we fix it? Bob the Builder Yes we can Oh, morning Bob Shut up, Larry That's right, Rolly I need a quiet word with you all before Wendy gets here Hi, Hi, Morning, Bob so loud. I don't want Wendy to hear. Why not, Bob? Well, it's her birthday today and... Birthday? Oh, yippee! Oh, we're going to have a surprise party. Oh, 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 steady on. Wendy said she absolutely does not want a surprise party. Oh, what are we going to do then, Bob? We're going to give her a surprise magic show. Oh, really? But we mustn't tell her, or it'll spoil the surprise. Promise I won't tell her, Bob. Neither of course I won't tell her. As if I would. Good. Now, Muck, I need your help first. What's the job, Bob? Mr. Ellis is doing the magic show, so can you go to the museum and help carry his equipment? Great. See you later. Oh, can't I go with him, Bob? Sorry, Scoop, but you're needed on today's job. Oh, I'm really excited. I know. But try and be excited quietly, Dizzy. It's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, morning, everyone. Oh, uh, morning, Wendy. What's going on? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Right, team? Yes, that's, 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 that's right. right. Oh, nothing at all is going on. <laughs> well, as long as you're not organising a surprise party. Oh, 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 Wendy. Oh, so, isn't anyone going to wish me a happy birthday? Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks, everyone. Right. It's Wendy's birthday, but it's a work day as well. So, come on, you lot. We've got to mark out that heritage walk today, haven't we, Bob? Yes, but I was wondering if you could manage without me, Wendy. Well, I suppose so. Oh, good, because I really need to um, sort out um, those wood panels for tomorrow's job. Cool. I see, Bob. Um, Bob? What's a heritage walk? Ah, well, Roly, it's a special walk around the town where you see all the places of interest. We're going to lay some plaques in the pavement to show everyone the way. That's clever. Well, the job won't get done if you don't start it. Yeah, uh, yeah, you better get going. No, Roly, you've got to go as well. Oh, yeah, you can you get busy? Yeah, yeah, right, cool. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Uh, see you later. Mr. Ellis? Uh, Mr. Ellis? What's that? That is my magic cabinet. Um, how does it work? I'm sorry, Bob, but I can't possibly tell you that. Real magicians never reveal their secrets. Of course, Mr. Ellis. Do you fancy a cup of tea? Oh, there you are, Wendy. Or should I say, happy birthday. Oh. Thank you very much, Mr. Bentley. I've got something for you. Oh, that's very kind of you. Uh, oh, the plaques for the heritage walk. Of course. Now, mind you get the arrows pointing the right way. We will. Come on, team. Let's get to work. <laughs> Wendy. Oh, that's easy, Scoop. Follow the arrow. The bandstand. That's right. Um, uh, Wendy, I, um, I, I need some more cement. Um, I, I'll just go back to the yard. Okay, Dizzy. Oh, look, Dizzy, there's plenty of... Dizzy? I ought to practice my magic tricks now, Bob, to make sure everything works properly. Oh, can we watch? Of course you can, Buck. Wow! Come on, Luffy! Dizzy! What are you doing back here? I came to help! But Wendy needs you. <laughs> Not all the time. Mr. Ellis is ready to start his practice. Brilliant! <laughs> 
Now, for my first trick, I'll need someone to help me. Oh, I'll do it! I'll do it! I think it might be better if Bob does it, Dizzy. Me? Oh, all right then. Oh, uh, be careful, Bob. Thank you. Now, would you please enter this perfectly ordinary cabinet? <laughs> okay. Abracadabra! Don't worry, Lottie. With one wave of my magic wand, I will now bring him back. Tabra, Cadabra! Oh! Bob's back! Oh, really? Can't you hear it again? That's a great trick, Mr. Ellis. I'm sure Wendy will like it. And Dizzy, you'd better get back there right away. Oh! Okay, Bob. <laughs> Yet. I'm here, Wendy! Was everything okay back at the yard? Oh, yes! Oh, it was really... Uh, um, okay. I'm glad to hear it. Right then, let's finish off here. Hey, did you say any magic? Yes, it was brilliant! Uh, oh, I want to see some too! You better be quick then. Right then, let's move on to the... The bridge! <laughs> yes! Come on, Rolly! Rolly? Oh, now where's he disappeared to? Couldn't have done much a little minute inside. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. And now for my next time. So close! My magic cabinet! Oh, oh, Mr. Ellis! I'm really sorry. It's all right, Rolly. It was an accident. But I'm afraid if I've got no magic cabinet. Then we can't have a magic show. Oh, no! Can you fix it, Bob? I'm sure we can come up with something. Look, Rolly, you'd better get back. Wendy will be wondering where you are. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, everyone. I don't think anyone can mend that. Oh, dear. Hey, I've got an idea. We'll build a new cabinet. What with, Bob? We can use some of those wood panels from tomorrow's job. We've got plenty. Great! Yes. Well, give me a hand, then. We've got no time to lose. What's the matter, Rolly? Oh, Scoot! I accidentally rolled over the magic cabinet. I'm trying to fix it in time for the magic show. Ah, oh, there you are, Rolly. Come and roll this for me, will you? Well... It's, it's jolly good, Bob. But, um, what do you think of the colour? You're right, Mr. Ellis. Mm. Hello, Mr. Bentley. We've just finished. So I see. One heritage walk complete. Check. Well done to you all. Right, team. Let's get back to the yard. It's all ready, Mr. Ellis. Hello, everyone. Oh, what's that one? Ah, Wendy. You said you didn't want a surprise birthday party. Well, we have got a surprise. But it's not a party. It's a magic show. And it's brilliant. Oh, oh how wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my special birthday magic show. Hooray! For my first trick, I need someone to help me. Me! Me! Oh, choose me! Please! Please! <laughs> Go on, then, Dizzy. Abracadabra! Oh, oh, I should have guessed. I've seen nothing but disappearing acts all day. Abracadabra! Magic birthday for me. Oh, thank you all so much.
Mrs. Percival. That's why I need lessons. I want to impress everyone at the dance tonight. I don't think I will. Of course you will, Bob. You just need to practice. Let's try it one more time. Oh, excuse me, Mrs. Percival. Hello, Bob the Builder. Hello, Bob. Mr. Bentley here. Could you come over to the town hall straight away? Of course I can, Mr. Bentley. I'll be right over. Uh, Mr. Bentley needs me. Don't you worry, Bob. You can come for a last lesson after school. Thanks, Mrs. Percival. See you later. Morning, Mr. Bentley. Oh, morning, Wendy. Morning, Bob. You were out early again. W was I? Oh, yes, I, I suppose I was. So, Mr. Bentley, what can we do for you? Well, Bob, it's about tonight's dance. Tonight's dance? I hope everything's all right. I've been practising really hard. I mean, everyone's really looking forward to it. Oh, don't worry, Bob. It's still going ahead, but not in the town hall. Because it's such a hot day, I've decided to hold the dance outside. Oh, Farmer Pickles has said we can use his field. Uh, but that means we'll need an outdoor dance floor. A dance floor? And lights. Lights. And tables and chairs for when people want to rest. Well, it sounds like a very big job to get done in just one day. I know, Wendy. But you see, the town hall is too hot and stuffy. We'd have to cancel the dance. Oh, no! Well, that would be terrible. Don't you worry, Mr. Bentley. We'll get everything ready in time. Wendy, can you go back to the yard and get Lofty, Dizzy and Rocky? So, you see, JJ, we need all the timber you can spare. Ah, oh, we had a delivery yesterday. I think there's just enough for what you need. Oh, could you deliver it to Farmer Pickles Field, please? I have to go and see Mr. Sabatini. No problem, Bob. Tricks can take it over, can't you, Tricks? Oh, yeah! Easy peasy! I'm also going to need some lights and a generator. I'll sort them out. You can pick them up later. Thanks, JJ. We'd better be off. So you see, Mr. Sabatini, we'd like to borrow as many tables and chairs as possible. You're going to have a demoral above. I'm not going to call some my restaurant tonight. Because I'm gonna be at the dance! I love the dancing! Thanks, Mr. Sabatini! Scoop and Muck will pick them up later. Bye! I'll see you later! Cha cha cha! Hi, Wendy! I've got your wart! Oh, thanks, Trix. Could you push it over there, please? Hiya, Trix! What you dizzy? It's a bit exciting about the dance! Oh, yes! I love dancing! What's your favourite dance? My Um, I can't. 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 Um
Carol, look at you! <laughs> Hiya, Bob. <laughs> Dancing is brilliant. I know it is, Dizzy. We can all have a dance tonight. So long as we've finished in time, that is. Hello, Bob. We're ready to start laying the dance floor. Oh, that's great, Wendy. If you and Lofty get started, I'll be with you in a moment. Scoop, can you and Muck go and pick up the lights from JJ, please? No prob, Bob. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Percival here. Um, it's Bob. I'm sorry, but I'm so busy that I might be late for my last dance lesson. Oh, that's quite all right, Bob. Why don't you come over to my house when you've finished? Thanks, Mrs. Percival. I really need one more lesson if I'm going to impress everyone tonight. All right, Bob. Bye. Right, team. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! tables and chairs are set out. They are indeed. Phew. I mean, heck. Oh, I'll never get to Mrs. Percival's now. I'm sorry I didn't make my last lesson, Mrs. Percival. Never mind, Bob. You've learned all the steps. I'll see you at the dance. Okay, Mrs. Percival. Bye. Oh, dear, Pilchard. I hope I don't tread on anyone's toes. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. Oh, 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 oh. Wasn't very good. to Mrs. Percival. She's been giving me lessons all week. I kept them a secret in case I wasn't any good. May I have a deep pleasure, Mrs. Percival? Oh, 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 Mrs. Sabatini. This is the way, lady. Oh, salsa, my favourite. Um, would you like to dance with me, Wendy? Oh, Bob, I'd love to. 